How's it, gang? Today I'm gonna try and play a $300 bankroll on a $25 table. And you know, that's not much money, $300 and a $25 table. So I'm gonna be trying, you know, little different strategies, maybe easy, maybe a 680 playing hard ways. Uh, also maybe a 130, depending on what the table is rolling. And we'll try and work with that. So stay tuned and I'll meet you at the table. Okay, $300 bankroll. Let's see what we can play on a $25 table. Uh, it's gonna be rough on a $25 table because you cannot depress and try to play stay alive. So for the very first time, what I wanna do is um, just go ahead and play an easy uh, hopefully the $25 tables that you do pick will not force you to play $5 for the hop. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I don't want to throw 5, 6, or 8, so I want to throw other numbers where I can collect $25 from the field. Okay, so let's see how this works. Uh, I'm not a uh, dice influencer at all, but I'll try and throw some uh, outside numbers if that's possible. So let's go ahead and uh, play, but we're not working on the come out, okay? So the hop and the field is uh, not working on the come out, okay? So 6, 4, 10. One, three, four. Okay, so we're getting our outside numbers. So in the very beginning, you know, as I do my easy, I usually cover the four, but instead, I mean cover the five, but instead I'll take $21 because I want to get some money back. So I'll take 21, leave the hopping there for $4. Okay, it's not like we lose any money by hitting these because we make 35, lose 25. So we win $10 minus 4, so we still make $6. Not much, but collecting something. That's why I don't like the 5, 6, or 8 to be coming because we make the least amount of money. But on a $25 table, we really don't have a a lot of options unless you want to put all your money out there and really take a chance. Five. Okay, so five, we still win three dollars, lose twenty seven, win thirty. So hard eight, we still win 35, lose the quarter, lose the hopping, so we make $6, okay? I'm just trying a four, six, six, five right now. to four dollars still making six dollars I want to change the set because I I don't want the six and eights right I'm trying not to throw six and eights 
Let's change to a 4664. I want to get those outside numbers like the 12. So that pays $50. And we lose this up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to a 110, take back a quarter. And maybe now get into a go back to the six four six six five. Now I want those six and eights. <laughs> no seven right away. Seven right away. Okay, so what we got left, 50, 60 dollars, I don't know what 75 that we put out there, so not a total loss, but not the best. Okay, so let's just try something else now. So I'm going to play 10 dollars each, 6 and 8. Thirty dollars, six and eight. Okay, on the hard way over there, ten dollars each. Not working on the come up. Twenty-five dollar table, three hundred dollar bankroll. Twenty-five not working on the come out. Hard eight. That would have been a nice pay. Five, four, one, five. Back to the four, six. Four six six five set ten. Now when I want those six and eight, so they're going to the outside. That's just how the dice is, right? Dice just does that. They just know where you're not staying, where you're not placing any money. Oh, ten. Dice kicked off the wall, hit the other dice and rolled all the way back here. Nine. See, now that we're not playing the easy, we're not hitting any six or eight. It's funny. That's just how it goes, right? That's typical of dice. And then it shows you a seven. Typical. Very typical. So lost $70 loss. Didn't collect anything. So that time playing the easy would have been better. Now we're going to try a, a 130 across. Uh, sorry, a 130 inside. And pretty much, we're, our bankroll is pretty much almost gone. Okay, I'm going to set a 2332 now since I'm playing inside 130. Let's see what happens. 8.8 .8. Just playing on a $25 table 
$300 bankroll looking for a strategy that might hold up and so far we maybe had the right strategy the first time for the second <laughs> roll you know so that didn't help nine okay so now we got some money fifty dollars So I'll take the fifty dollar win for the nine. Maybe it can help us get some money back so we can play another session. Six three nine again. Another fifty for one. I don't know if I paid the first one, forgot, but there it is, uh, paid it. Ace deuce. So I sometimes if I had enough money, I would be putting something in the field, like $15 or so, but on a $25 table you can't do that and that's what makes it difficult to play on a $25 table with a $300 bankroll well there would have been two collections from the field at least an extra $30 Another collection from the field. Six for ten. You know, we we could uh, you know we could be collecting if we took the wins and start to spread it across. But with such a thin bankroll, um, <laughs> it's hard to do, right? Because you actually playing with a little bit of scared money because you don't have enough. Six three nine. Sounds like some motorcycles are passing by my house. So that's fifty for one. Okay, let's take a chance. We'll press up one and take because we're hitting the nine, right? So we'll take a chance on that instead of take fifty. Since we've been throwing up, you know, quite a bit of nines, we'll take a chance and press and take. Oh, good, good read, uh, read, Mel. Good read. So now we make eighty-five because it pays eighty-four for one. We we'll make eighty-five, one. Seven out. Seven out. Wasn't too bad. We got lucky um, hitting some points that helped us with the 130 layout of our special. We couldn't play staying alive because we didn't make enough money. So we got some money back. Okay, we'll try it again. Let's see. Coming out. Oh, the dice kissed on that one. Six one seven. Four one five. 
by a winner. So we get paid 50 for one. And we'll just cover the four and ten this time. Uh, just to see if we can hit some of those. But uh, if I was in the casino, I'd probably keep those. <laughs> but taking a chance, like I said, you know, sometimes I'm a risk taker. And sometimes I get paid off for it. And sometimes I get punished for it. So, six, five year old. So by practicing like this, uh, I get a chance to practice my tossing. Seven. I try to work on my tossing as much as I can, but I'm still not great at it. Four hard. Four hard right back. So that pays fifty. Now I don't take back that hundred. Go to the 130. We made some money off of that, you know. Because we cannot depress and take money, then I just take the whole thing down when I win it. Because you cannot play less than $25. And that makes it uh, difficult when you have a small bankroll. Five. I mean, if we look right here, we got 130, we got another 100 here, we got another 100 here, so that's 330, 40, 50, 65, about 70. So we're up about $70. Of course, all that could be wiped out with 174. Nine. So that's 50 for one. We could press and take, but like I said, you know, we're pretty low on bankroll 300. Maybe the better thing would have been we'll pull a five and nine back and just try and hit a six and eight and maybe put hard ways on a six and eight and see what happens there. But Hard eight. Look right there. If I changed it, we would have got it. That's thirty-five. So I'm gonna take this, take this. We'll come back down here, take this down, and we'll just play a ten dollars, six and eight hard. Um, the reason for playing ten dollars is because we'll win thirty-five. We'll pocket a quarter and that'll replace the ten dollars will replace the hard way. Of course it's hard enough to throw six and eights all the time because that's all we got. That's the only target we're giving the dice. But yet uh, it's better to take back some money than to leave it out there too long. So we did the right thing, yeah. Five two seven. So we lost that. So we started with a three hundred dollar bankroll. Let's see where we stand. One, two, three hundred. Twenty-five, fifty, seventy-five. 
We made seventy-six dollars. Um, we didn't really make a lot in the first one. We tried the easy. When we tried just the six and eight, with the hard way, we didn't get lucky enough. But for a short period of time, playing on a twenty-five dollar table, we made seventy-six dollars. Well, gang, you saw us working some strategies. Three hundred dollar bankroll on a twenty-five dollar table. Um, it's really hard to do certain strategies because you cannot depress. So you know everything is twenty-five dollars. You have to be betting. If you're not putting out enough money across the place bets, then you miss some bets that uh, or some rolls that came because you're not there. And if you want to be there, it's going to cost you way more money taking a chance that big red would be rolled, and then you lose a hundred thirty or maybe even 180 depends on how much you want to put out and cover across the board so hopefully uh, this was a little entertaining for you and you enjoyed watching what you uh, got to see on the table as what I was playing anyway we made a little money um, I well, it's what I said about a uh, uh, $76 certainly yeah about about $76 I think it was that's not too bad uh, for a lot of numbers that I thrown and I wasn't able to collect some because we weren't on those box numbers again uh, Thank you for your support. I Always appreciate any of you who have subscribed to me and is uh, supporting the Craps Hawaii channel Again when you get to the casinos, please play to stay alive. We'll see you next time